Okay, so this is a D-Gripper 5000. I made it about three years ago. This is a tool that helps me take off the grip tape a lot easier than using the sun or the heat gun or any other way. Now, the problem with this D-Gripper 5000, it's a little sketchy. The tube is exposed, and so there's actually a break and a little bit of cracks on the tube itself, as well as all these wires hanging out and it's not well protected. Another thing is, it feeds the skateboards through a little too fast for my taste, and I wish it was a little bit slower. So, in this video, I'm going to attempt to make a better one to take off the grip tape off of these skateboards. And I'm still calling it D-Gripper 5000. Okay, so for the new and improved D-Gripper 5000, I decided to get a new heating element. And I found out about these from Bob from I Like To Make Stuff, and he used them for his powder coating application. And it's essentially the same, it just heats it up to like 400 degrees. And up until now, I've been looking at Amazon and typing up heating element, heating lamps, and all these toaster ovens always pop up. But these are actually called paint curing lamps. Infrared paint curing lamps. They just had a different word for it. So these are actually perfect because these are long enough where I don't have to have the feeding system. And if I have it elevated high enough, it should cover the whole entire board. And that really simplifies things and having to worry about the feeder and the speed. I literally just have to feed the skateboard in and then whenever I'm done with it, just take it out. So I'm going to make a little frame for it and I already made a design for it and I'm gonna cut it out on the CNC machine. And I'll have these files available on my website, but I'm gonna make it super simple, super easy, so that all I have to worry about is putting the skateboard in and taking it out. Got it? Let's use a CNC machine. Okay, so I have the initial design assembled. And first of all, you need to use either 14 gauge or 12 gauge or any lower number than that for the wires. I almost burned down the house or burned down the shop right now using 20 gauge wire. And so highly recommend using either 12 gauge. I'm using 14 gauge and it seems to be working. Now, when it comes to assembling this, it was a little more difficult than I thought. So I'm gonna change the design a little bit before I release it. But this is the general design. It's very simple. I'm just gonna have a skateboard, put it in here, let it cook up. And then when I'm done, I just take it back out. Very simple. It's a C-shaped design. And one thing that I'm kind of worrying about right now is it might get too hot. So let's warm it up and then test it out. I think another thing that I need to add is on and off switch on the plug instead of unplugging and plugging. But this thing gets really hot.
It's so hot that it's almost melting. Let's take a check on this one. Oh my God. It's almost too hot. I didn't have to use my roller either. I have to raise it a little bit. Probably at least two more inches. Uh, back to the drawing board. Gotta make it a little bit hot, a uh, little bit higher. Feeding system is not too bad. I tried to make a little concave. I don't know if you can see it on the bottom to fit the skateboards. It's actually not even working. So I'm just gonna cover that up. Uh, what else? Uh, I think that's about it. Ah. ah, this gets hot too, huh? I should cover this too, so I'm not touching it. I have a little hole so I can have the wire going through. Okay. 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 So the version 2.0 of the D Gripper 5000 turned out pretty nice. I increased the height about up to about four inches. So it should be a little bit cooler. Let's actually test it out. And then this is nice and flat, but there's a stop right there. So it's actually kind of perfect. Let's see how this works. I think I might add like a half inch strips on top just in case I end up touching it. So. Other than that, I could just grab it right here. Pretty nice. Also, another thing, I kept the back open because I didn't want it to get too hot. And so I think this is gonna work out a little better and having it nice and open. Same thing about around here and here, a little bit of space, a little bit of airflow. Just blew the breaker. I think it's because the AC is connected to this circuit or this breaker, as well as a few lights. My table saws. No, no, no. Not my table saw. Yeah, the AC is connected to the same breaker, and that's probably why it's tripping, but who knows? get more skateboards.
So here it is, the new and improved Dgripper 5000. Now, the second file that I used, which is this one, came out very nice. And I like the flat little table here. The height is just enough. It can get hotter, but I wouldn't recommend it. So I think keeping it at this height is perfectly fine. And I added a, two strips of plywood. It's actually burning. Maybe I should take it off. Or maybe I should add a aluminum foil tape over this. This thing is pretty hot. I wanted to have some kind of base so I could, you know, put stuff on top of it. And uh, yeah, also I changed it to uh, 12 gauge wires or plugs just in case, and it's been working out. And I'll have these files available for free since I don't think a lot of people are going to make it on my website. And I don't know, the lamp is 35 bucks, a sheet of 38 by 18 inch plywood should be about 20 to $30. And the plug itself should be about another 15 bucks. So you're looking at about 70 bucks, 65 bucks for this whole setup. And I really like it now. Compared to the old D-Gripper 5000, there's pros and cons. The pros of the old D-Gripper 5000 is that it's small and compact, and that's about it. It got the job done. But the cons is it's unsafe. The tubes are exposed and it's cracked, and the feeding time, you kind of have to adjust it in a way. And um, also, I can't feed smaller materials since this height is so high. The roller is sitting up a little too high. So that's the smaller, older uh, D-Gripper 5000. Now, the pros of the new D-Gripper 5000 is that it gets really hot. And that could also be a con too, because as I'm feeding the skateboards in here, all that heat gets drawn straight to me. And so, yeah, it's a good thing that it's hot, but it's also a bad thing that it's hot because it's really hot. Now, another thing that's good about the new D-Gripper 5000 is that I can feed smaller materials. So I have a lot of these nose and tails that gets broken up and I could always just leave it right in here and it's been working out really great. Now, another thing is that all these grip tapes seems to be coming off a little bit easier, not significantly, but when it does come off, a lot of the glue and the adhesive comes off with it. So I've been getting a really nice clean boards without any glue residue and that's the biggest difference that I could tell in terms of performance. Now the biggest con of this tool is that it got a lot bigger. I think it's twice the size what it used to be and it's not too heavy. Yeah it's not heavy at all and it's gonna store back up exactly where I used to put it. That's about it. I really like this. I think it's gonna come in really handy and especially during the winter times now you're not gonna get enough sun or at least it's not gonna get hot enough, so. Okay, so that's it for this video. I just wanted to upgrade this D-Gripper 5000. Started getting kind of sketchy and yeah, made me kind of think about it after my previous video. And so yeah, this is a whole lot safer, whole lot beefier, a lot hotter as well. So I think I'm gonna get a really good use out of this tool. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and comment down below what you think about this new D-Gripper 5000. And don't forget, it's free files on my website, which is wobi.design. Thanks again, and until next time. Woo! Nice. Maybe I should just leave it there, add a switch, and then put the skateboard here when I'm done. Ah, no, I should look at it when it bubbles. No, I'll just store it up there.